नमस्कार मेरा नाम आशुतोष बहुगुना है और मैं एज ए साइंटिस्ट थी इंडियन कंप्यूटर इमरजेंसी रिस्पॉन्स टीम सर्टिन में कार्यरत हूँ इस सेशन में हम डिस्कस करेंगे मैनेजिंग साइबर सिक्योरिटी हाउ टू मैनेज द साइबर सिक्योरिटी इशूज एंड द साइबर थ्रेट्स सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस सेशन इज टू लर्न अबाउट द मैनेजिंग साइबर सिक्योरिटी द आर्ट ऑफ मैनेजिंग द साइबर सिक्योरिटी साइबर सिक्योरिटी फ्रेमवर्क डिफरेंट फ्रेमवर्क ऑलरेडी दी है विच वी मे यूज और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मे यूज टू प्रोटेक्ट सेल्फ फ्रॉम द साइबर थ्रेट्स देन वी विल डिस्कस मैच्योरिटी मॉडल्स टू साइबर सिक्योरिटी मैच्योरिटी मॉडल्स दैट्स द रोड मैप ऑफ अ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू मूव अ लेडर ऑफ अ मैच्योरिटी वी विल डिस्कस सी आई एस क्रिटिकल सिक्योरिटी कंट्रोल्स ट्वेंटी क्रिटिकल सिक्योरिटी कंट्रोल्स if at some point of a time we cannot do everything available in a framework so what we can do we can implement at least do the 20 critical controls so we will we can say that we are reasonably safe then we will uh, see the cyber security must have at least the condition minimum baseline so that's the cyber security must have so managing the cyber security so in the managing the cyber security is the first thing is the understanding it better so understanding it clearly that means first thing we have to understand what the cyber security means what our problem is that we are going to manage so there are a various terms such as information security cyber security it security or maybe others so what is the relationship between them is the information security is a subset of cyber security cyber security is a subset of information security or both are same and what this it security is and then what the critical information infrastructure is and what the national critical information infrastructure is so first thing is that we have to be very clear what we are going to manage what we are going to achieve so here i will refer to a, a source cipedia so visit this website cipedia this may help you to clear what you understand by cyber security information security there are various definition by different countries different organizations and different um, entities so that the definition first thing i suggest you to make your definition of a cyber security in the information security in a literature if you will search for you will identify uh, some says that the cyber security is subset of information security and some few says that they are neither superset subset they are intersecting each other they are a set a and set b and intersecting each other so the first thing is to the un- making the understanding of the cyber security uh, definition of the cyber security so first thing after doing that what the other challenge is that managing with limited resources we are not having unlimited resources our funds our manpower are the challenges for doing the cyber security managing the cyber security so effectiveness of security controls so sometimes i have seen that in many organization in many audits we have set up some security controls we have implemented some device but whether that device that security control is effective in producing the cyber security for the asset whether that device or a control is sufficient to protect us against the cyber security threats so that we have to analyze get a assurance about the effectiveness of that control so those are the uh, managing the cyber security so what is the information so information and the information security so by definition if we will go the information can be in any form digital form in a paper the password remembered by your employee so if you go by the information security definition we talk about cia confidentiality integrity availability so it should be information should be available a it should be integrity should be there that means 
the information should be same as produced and confidentiality means it should be only available to the people who are authorized to have it so to if your job is to manage information security you can go for a information security management system that's the isms it brings the information security under control of a management so if you are implementing information security management system the best to go for a iso iec 27000 series of a standards so 27000 form is to certify the information security management system so ultimately what the organization has to achieve is not to protect only from the digital uh, and the cyber threats but also from the other threats such as a insider threats such as a physical penetration attempt so all those threats all all those ways should be used to protect the information and that's the information security so implementing information security when you will go through the iso 27001 uh, the standards 27002 speaks about the code of practices to implement the isms so it says that scope context of the organization leadership and then it talks about the risk management it talks about the support it talks about the operations control implementation it talks about performance evaluation of your isms it talks about the continuous improvement so these things these parameters are used for mandatory parameters are used for implementing the isms so there are controls in the iso 27001 which organization as per the statement of applicability can select for the implementation so what can the controls be control can be the having a the encryption can having a daily working controls so if you are working from remotely to the office what type of control should be there so organization can select and implement those control as per the applicability of the to the organization like a human resource security human resource they have to do physical security they have to do so those controls is there the nist cyber security framework if you are looking for implementing the controls and a framework for the cyber security then you can make use of a nist cyber security framework so this framework you can customize as per your need you can select the implementation tier and then Uh, you can make your profile and implement for our organization to protect the ict and your cyber domain from the cyber threats so there are a framework core framework implementation tiers and framework profiles so this the organization implementation tiers and, and profile can select and the core so what is the core component of that framework is to identify then the protect then there is a detect then there is a respond then there is a recover so what it is is the identify the assets identify all the assets then second is the protect them from the cyber threats and cyber attacks if there is a cyber attack then third is the detect it. if there is some attack is going on then there is a respond if attack is successful or someone is trying to attack if there is some incident then respond to that incident then recover from the cyber security breach or an incident so this is the framework core this framework core is having this five categories and then there is a list of activities what organization need to do categories and sub categories which organization need to impl- can implement and select based on their resources their applicability to their organization and can move to a better cyber security so in identify if you will look at uh, the details uh, is within a identify category then we can say asset management business environment so manage all the assets which is within your purview then business environment of your organization 
governance structure risk assessment what type of a risk are there for your organizations risk management strategy whether risk is accepted whether risk is rejected whether risk is mitigated to be mitigated so those then there is a supply chain risk management if the if the your vendors or in a supply chain can cause a attack to your organization so these things are under identity pro in product what you have to uh, do is to use the protective technology like ips or a parameter security devices antivirus solutions to protect from the cyber threats similarly data security is there Admin, administration of our devices is there maintenance of devices is there awareness and training because people are also important part of cyber security ecosystem so their awareness and training is also very important then detect if someone is trying to attack or already compromise the system then detect that attack or attempt of attack so continuous monitoring reviewing the log and detection devices detection process should be in a place to successfully detect the attack or attempt of attack if the attack is successful then respond to it respond to it by analyzing its cause this reporting to the authorities ident identifying mitigation actions and the improvement and the countermeasures and communication within the organization and outside organization if that incident is there then recover means to come to the original original as it was earlier before the attack then that planning should be there what actions need to be taken to run the system again with the 100% features so those things comes under the recover there are a sub categories under those categories and that you can see you can download that uh, nist cyber security framework document from nist website and can go through the implementation tiers and the sub categories and uh, um, other references okay so the next topic is about the building the cyber resiliency so building the cyber resiliency is supported by the cyber crisis management plan so cyber crisis management plan are different from the incident response plan incident response plan are when you are responding to the incident that plan help you to respond to the incident but cyber crisis management plan not only talks about the response but also about the proactive actions also so that's the building the cyber resiliency so goal of any cyber resiliency building cyber resiliency within organizations anticipation so risk analysis anticipation of the threats attacks to the organization protection and detection and then withstand if there is a attack is a successful then recover from that attack if attack is successful and evolve to the improved posture so these are the cyber resiliency goals which a organization can implement so cyber security capability maturity models are there these maturity models help to the organization to assess their current posture current state where they stand in terms of a cyber security and where they have to move to the next level what the actions they have to perform identify those actions to move to the next level so these are the there are a 10 dimension if we look specifically to the c2m2 then it talks about the those dimensions and for the capability maturity model which the organization can work on to on improving and assessing their current state and improving to further state so sometimes it may be difficult for a organization to implement the complete framework or standard in one go so what is the solution suggested is that implement the cis critical security control so at least do these 20 things and then the most critical uh, worries will be gone so at least you can uh, do this cis critical security controls at least you can do these 20 things which are you can then move to the further to implementing the frameworks and standards there are uh, 20 controls so you can 
also see and look into those controls like a vulnerability assessment and penetration testing what it is vulnerability assessment means looking for the weakness in a system doing the vulnerability assessment then penetration testing means doing the penetration attempt on the system red teaming exercises are there which test for a people process technology all three components data recovery capabilities suppose there is a wanna cry ransomware attacks on your systems the data is encrypted so there should be data recovery capability within your organization anti virus anti malware software anti malware solution should be implemented here but the most important as if you see the first and the second category is the inventory that's the most tedious and challenging uh, task to do in a cyber security the most of the organization are not aware what the software they have what type of hardware they have where it is a place so it is saying that in a one or two that there should be an inventory of a hardware authorized and unauthorized hardware there should be an inventory of authorized and unauthorized software there should be secure configuration of the devices hardware and the software those things are so at least we can do the these basic 20 controls sometimes it may be a challenging or you are assessing a cyber posture of your organization so we suggest that at least you do the cyber security must have five controls only so we can say these are the cyber suraksha ke panch seal so at least start with five controls so what the road map we suggest is that you start with five controls if you are having a very very limited budget with no resources at all so start start with five controls then move to 20 controls then move to the cyber security framework then ultimately information security framework along with that you measure your maturity using the capability maturity model so five controls when talk about the first thing is again the inventory know what is there in terms of hardware software what is authorized what is not authorized secure configuration that's important again continuous vulnerability assessment and remediation look for a weakness vulnerability in your systems in your network in your applications and patch them remove those weakness controlled use of administrative privileges means the administrative right should only be limited to a limited people so it should not be that all people can access the system as a administrator administrator it should not be like that the all the employee of organizing accessing systems as a administrator and then anti malware solution because there is a virus malware and uh, problems uh, of uh, um, spyware are there ransomware are there so it's better to have an anti malware solution so we start with 5 move to 20 and then go to cyber security framework and finally reach to the information security management systems so that's the art we discussed uh, road map we discussed we propose to the organization to implement so in summary we discuss cyber security frameworks of nist isms information security management system iso 27001 we discuss the maturity ma models and uh, then we discuss the road map how the organization can move to a better cyber security or information security posture by at least starting with 20 cyber critical cyber security controls or five cyber security must haves so that's all for this session thank you very much